Well, since you clicked on this video, I bet you're wondering how Riddle Corpse's EX for the PS4, Xbox One, and PS Vita is. If you keep watching, you're going to find out. Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and today we are reviewing Riddle Corpse's EX for the PS4, Xbox One, and PS Vita. This is a game that is coming out June 5th, which as of this recording is tomorrow. But as you're watching this video is today, of course. So how exactly is Riddle Corpse's EX? Well, before we dive into that, I do want to talk about the developer's previous game, Xenon Valkyrie, which if you click the card, you'll learn a little bit more about that game and seeing how I thought about it. This is the developer's new game made by the same people that made that game. Otherwise, if you happen to like this game after playing, don't forget to check out Xenon Valkyrie. <laughs> So what exactly is Riddle Corpse's EX? Essentially, it is a indie twin stick shooter that you play in a post-apocalyptic world dominated by zombies and monsters and demons and all kinds of stuff. A scientific experiment goes horribly awry in the beginning cutscenes of the game. And basically from there, you just blow the crap out of everything that moves since there's not really any good guys that you have to contend with. There's not any innocents. You're just destroying all the monsters and zombies and zombie dogs and skeleton demons and freaking Jason Voorhees hulks and all kinds of other stuff. It's some crazy madness this game has to offer. And that's something I really like about it. You know, it has a lot of really cool monster designs. Some of them obviously aren't the most original, I suppose, but it's a really good and strong eclectic cast of enemies coming at you trying to kill you off, and it's a good time. I really appreciate the retro graphic style that this game has to offer, but it is clear here that the pixel art used in this game was lovingly crafted and the person that did this knew exactly what they were doing. They knew how to nail the retro aesthetic, and I really appreciate that. I am also happy to report that there are various graphical filters that you can utilize through the game, including filters that let you make it look like an old CRT. So that's a really cool bonus for anybody that really likes retro graphics aesthetics. That's definitely a strong point of this game. I also have to say that the soundtrack is pretty catchy on this game. Both the original score that is included with the game, as well as a new score composed by George Yost, who is the same composer that did Xenon Valkyrie Plus, and he has an excellent catalog of music, and this is really strong stuff. I definitely recommend giving this soundtrack a listen, which probably won't be too hard to do since it's going to be really catchy and goes really well with the action of the game. As far as the controls in Riddle Corpse's EX, it's pretty standard stuff as far as twin stick shooters go. You have one stick to move and one to fire in whatever direction you please. You also have a couple of buttons such as bombs and time slowing abilities which will come in real handy whenever you're countering huge hordes of enemies that are just kind of coming right after you and shooting all kinds of projectiles and everything like that. You definitely have to use those tools very wisely if you plan on surviving very long in this game. Not to mention just being in general really good with dodging projectiles, having an effective ability to fire at enemies and so on. This game is tough as nails, but fortunately unlike Xenon Valkyrie, you do have a permanent progression system that you can utilize. As a matter of fact, whenever you earn gold in this game after you die, 
you can spend that gold to upgrade the character that you were just playing as or you can even spend it on a new character which may have somewhat different stats and abilities versus the character you had before now i couldn't quite beat riddle corpses ex because it is a tough as nails game but i did get to the end boss and wow that was a holy moly moment this boss was basically something straight out of a bullet hell shooter so even though this isn't really a bullet hell shooter kind of game technically it has those kinds of elements which if you're into those kinds of games you might actually want to consider giving this one a shot and of course a cherry on top is this game does feature full-on two-player co-op so you can invite a friend over or if you have ps4 you can do share play or something like that i highly recommend giving this game a shot i had a lot of fun with this game it had a great addictive hook and it kept me hooked for a while and made it very easy to come back to you guys to review it and let you know what i thought about it it didn't really feel like work at all coming up with this review <laughs> So overall, I'm going to give this game a 9 out of 10. It is the same rating that I gave Xenon Valkyrie Plus, but I will give this game a slight edge because it had a really good addictive hook. Even though the gameplay, story, or whatever is kind of the same old hack and yard stuff that we've seen 100 times, the game just had so much charm and was just so addictive and fun that I can't really fault it for that, you know. I can't really count that as a negative for the game. The only reason I'm not gonna point off at all is because I wish there was a little more variety in the gameplay. Plus, I mean, four player co-op and online play, that would have been really stellar to have. But that being said, this is a game I can wholeheartedly recommend. If it's something that you think you might be interested in, let me know in the comments below. And if you've played this game, what did you think about it? But till then, down Phoenix out.